note, the first thing you will see walking through into the living room area is the couch in the heart-shaped whirlpool tub. This was a big hit for my wife and I. Then we have one of the scrap flat screen televisions. And let's walk over down into the sunken bedroom area and, and we have the fireplace, which I didn't utilize. However, I saw other rooms bellowing with smoke. Now we're into the uh, bedroom, the sunken bedroom. I don't know why some things scream risque, like a circular bed or clear high heels, but there we have it, circular bed. Anyway, let's move forward to the walk-in closet. Very large walk-in closet, but kind of don't need it because most people aren't going to stay that long to utilize that closet. Anyway, let's move on to the very large bathroom. We have uh, double sinks. And the soap and shampoo and lotion actually were pretty high level. I was surprised to see that, pleasantly surprised. Moving on, we have the separated toilet, which is good. You don't want to mess up the mood with some funk. And then we have a mini fridge. The mini fridge was uh, set in there kind of poorly. I was surprised that uh, they didn't put more quality into their craftsmanship when they uh, put this sink in here. I mean, this fridge in here. Then we move on to the shower. Now this shower bothered me more than anything else. Why? Because this shower, it was not big enough for two people. This is big for a one person shower because you already have a, a tub, but for two, I think you should be able to fit two. They should have had it so you could have two people in this shower. All right, let's move on to the pool room. Now you look down at the pool, that's a pool cover to keep the um, pool warm. Now this pool is not big enough to do anything, but really just have sex in, honestly, guys. You're not gonna play in it, well, sorta. You're not really gonna play in it. You're just gonna have sex in it and you're gonna be able to brag that your room and your hotel room had a pool. That's what you're gonna do. Nothing more than that. And then we have the sauna. Um, I didn't utilize the sauna, unfortunately. I'm just not a sauna kind of person, so we didn't, me and the wife did not uh, use the sauna, but it, it seemed nice. It seemed nice and it was big enough, you know, to have sex in it. All right, let's show you how outdated this place is. Not with the remote controls or anything, but b below you'll see a Bose system. No one uses Bose system anymore. There's our second flat screen television. And then we also have our coffee maker. And that's the first flat screen TV you saw earlier. Here's the outside of the room. Nothing worth looking at here. Though we did see some deer running around the hotel and res resort area. And that was cool, but where it was set, you would expect a little bit more, especially with that romantic feel. I, di I didn't really feel it. It just felt like we were almost in the middle of nowhere. Uh, now, let me talk about what I liked. I liked the size of the room. It was very substantial. Maybe the largest hotel room square footage I've ever stayed in and the heart-shaped tub. I stayed in the chalet room prior at their sister property called the Poconos Palace. It was very nice. So you can have that heart-shaped room, a heart-shaped uh, tub without having that room and pay a little bit less. Now, let me talk about what I didn't like. The room had no windows. Uh, fortunately, fortunately, because of the sheer size, it wasn't a claustrophobic situation, but I would like to have some windows. Another thing I didn't like was the shower. Why would you have a large a pool large enough to for two to have sex in, but not a shower to have sex in? I'm being honest. 
Uh, all in all, I had a great time because of who I was with. If you are or your lover are particular and hard to please, do not stay here. I take this place like uh, lingerie in a box. Lingerie in a box. It's one size fits all, cheap and raunchy. But sometimes that's what you're looking for. I'm Charles Wallingford and Cove Haven Garden of Eden Apple Sweet is how I would spend my money. Only if you have a Groupon deal.